Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be covering how you can use hidden fields, or how you can hide fields in order to try and make your extracts smaller. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and connected to the Tableau Superstore example data set, uh, and I've gone ahead and created uh, just this quick visualization. So we've got the uh, year of the order date and the segment, um, and then a little heat map with the uh, average of profit. Uh, you'll see that only touches about three fields. Now, right now we're connected directly to uh, the data source. We're connected live. Um, but if we wanted to create an extract so we could you know, send this file to somebody else and have them explore it, um, or so that we could uh, have it perform better if it's a particularly large data set, we just want to click on the extract button up here. Now, one of the things that this is going to do is it's going to extract all of these fields. Well, if this uh, diagram is our only, uh, if this little visualization is the only one we're including, then we don't need all the fields. And what we're going to get is quite a large extract, particularly if we have a large number of rows. So what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, use this button here. So we'll turn off Show Hidden Fields, and then we'll go Hide or Unuse Fields. What that does, you see it just cuts down the, the number of fields. It makes them hidden. If we go back to our data source, you'll see that um, in this now live connection, you can see that we only have these fields that we're using in our visualization. And if we go to the extract, um, you can see that if we refresh the extract here, that all we get is these three fields. Now, since we're connected to the extract, one of the challenges you might run into is that if you now go show hidden fields, the only fields that show up are a handful of there's manufacturer, profit, so calculations based on the fields that we have um, available, but nothing else. There's nothing based on what we don't have hidden. So what you have to do to get all the fields back is you have to go here. Uh, we're going to go back to our live connection. Now you can see all the fields pop up. This is going to show you all the fields in here. You can add in add back in, rather, whichever fields that you want. So if we wanted to go ahead and make them all unhidden again, we can do that. Uh, and then we're going to go back here, extract, and then we're going to recreate the extract. And as it recreates the extract, now you'll see that we have an extract that has a complete set of fields in it again. Um, so that's one of the tricks that you can use. It can save you a good amount of space, particularly if you're uh, hiding additional fields, uh, particularly additional string fields can make the extract refresh as much quicker, and they can save you some uh, disk space as well. Sometimes I find it's the difference between having a file that you can email to a colleague uh, and having a file that you have to uh, transfer via Hightail or Google Docs or something like that. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, then uh, please uh, follow our channel. Uh, if you, as always, there's a link to the uh, data set and the video in the video description, um, as well as to the workbook. Although in this case, uh, all you really need is a data set. Uh, and then uh, we uh, hope to uh, see you next time.